The growing economic crisis in Sri Lanka has affected various classes of people, including the middle class as well. Now, I'm reporting to you from Nuge Goda, where a protest is being staged by a group of people, or rather a unique protest, where these protesters have bought kitchen utensils to the protest site. Now, what these protesters are showing through these kitchen utensils is how this economic crisis has affected the kitchen as well. The growing care shortages the price hikes and how they are unable to feed their children as well. Now on one hand is a fuel queue and on the other hand is a protest. <laughs> The protest is being held for the third consecutive day today. Previously, protests were held at the Kohula Junction. Uh, I think the government should really know that people are not happy still with anything that they have been doing. Um, Ranil Vikram Singh are coming, started with a little pop, but it's fizzled out to nothingness again from everything that we've seen. That retirement home has, has done nothing. Then, then make sure that they are all safe and not looking after the country or its youth at all. Honestly, I feel there is no accountability from our politicians. They really don't care about us. Right now, we are looking at a major fuel queue here. The fight almost broke out. People are frustrated. Their needs are not heard. They go to parliament and they talk about their needs, their problems. Never about what's happening to the people. And I want them to know that the Aragal is far from over. If at all, it's just beginning. And we are going to join into this pocket protest. And whatever, as, as long as we are heard. This is not the real protest. I think the real protest is over there when we're standing queues for petrol, when we're standing queues for fuel, our basic needs. That is the real protest. Another protest dubbed Kitchen Lament was held in Kandy today. <laughs> A similar protest was held in Moratua this evening as well.